using the text editor. When we have the text editor, we end up with this, uh, this box around the text. We can come over here to this, this is the ruler up above. And we can grab on the end of the ruler with our left mouse button and change the width. You'll see the size of the width changes as I move it. And it automatically updates itself uh, to how many rows of text it needs. So this is when I'm in, a, in my columns with dynamic columns. If I change the no columns, now I can right click over here and I can set the width to a particular width. Let's say I want it exactly at six inches. I can say okay. And now it's exactly at six inches. But I can only do that if I'm in no columns. Typically we run in dynamic columns and it automatically adjusts. Um, also, if I grab in the lower right hand corner, I can change the height and the width. All right, so if I'm only here, I'm only changing the width. I come down here, I can change the height and the width of, of the. So here I have dynamic columns. All right, so my columns are, I'm showing columns in that case. When I pull it out, I have two columns. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we need to know here? Um, do not press enter. Look what happens when I press enter. It actually forces me to have another um, paragraph. And I'll set. So here when I press enter, it's like I starting a. So I'm starting a new paragraph when I press enter. Okay, so be careful when you press enter. Now, to close this text editor. I want to come up here and hit close text editor. Now this will close this um, this particular text and so now this is all one text item. So when I pick on it this is all one text item. To open it up I just simply double click and I'm back to opening that text item. I have to close the text editor and then I'm now this is all one item, so if I hit erase, this whole thing goes away. So, using our text editor, we get all kinds of tools up here that we can use in our text editor. This is our text editor, and this is our bounding box down here with our ruler. And we can close the text editor in the upper right-hand corner of the text editor.